some of the barriers that I faced was having the pressure to fit in, look right, wear a certain amount of makeup, talk to a certain amount of people. I probably wasn't the best student in school. I'd never do anything that really pushed me. I'd never do anything that kind of challenged me to think differently. When I was younger, I had a lot of issues with the way that I looked. I had a lot of issues with my weight and other people picking on to me because I looked different to everyone else. I went to extreme lengths to avoid certain people in school. I always used to have to walk home a different way from school, which added 15, 20 minutes to my journey time, and I couldn't wait to leave school. School was very much about survival for me. I started to make some wrong decisions, get involved uh, in things that I probably shouldn't have. I didn't realise um, how much potential that I did actually have. For me, I think I didn't realise how much it was going to impact me or, or how much I was going to relate to the day and how much I actually needed it. I first met the Humutopia team, I think it was Graham and Carla that came in for a Who Am I Day when I was in Year 10. And I had the Who Am I Day first and it really made me think about myself. They helped me see that I was going down the wrong path and that I was making decisions for the benefit of other people. I realised over the years that I need to make a few changes and the only way I was going to do that is by getting out of my comfort zone and just putting myself out there. The first step to making that big change was volunteering some of my own time. It was the whole day that really clicked with me. I, I remember walking out of there thinking, wow, like I have actually got more potential than I think and just because I haven't had the best start in life doesn't necessarily mean that I can't go far. They were able to show me that the opinions, negative opinions of others shouldn't affect how much of a friendly person I can be. The opinions of others doesn't affect what person I'm going to be later on in the future. So I put myself forward to be a hero because what I felt on that day resonated with me so much. It helped me reflect and think about me and how I act, how I treat people, how they treat me and, and I think that was just the, the, at the right time in my life where I didn't need those moments and those days to sit and reflect and, and act upon it then. So for me I'd had in year 10 a really powerful day with Human Utopia and I think the first thing I thought was how can I do more of this stuff. Once I joined the Heroes Journey I kind of committed to developing myself and being that better person. Um, so yeah I, th I feel like I did turn myself around. When I joined the Heroes Journey I then realised that actually I don't need to try so hard to fit in, I can just be myself. I'll attract the right people with a positive kind of vibe. I wanted to be a hero to make a difference with other people, but also to really boost my confidence. What I got out of being a hero was lots and lots of different skills. Graham and Carlo asked us what, what did the previous day mean to us a year ago, and I remember saying it meant life changing. And I think I realised that I had, I had more confidence than I expected. I just never had the opportunity to show it or the, the chance to prove that I could do those things. What they were able to do for me was that help me understand what I think of myself is the most important thing. I can't imagine what life would be like if I didn't put that form back in um, because it's made such a difference for me. When I was faced with other challenges and other things in my life and other things that I've had to deal with since, I've been able to use what I got out of being a hero in those situations. The hero's journey has um, given me the motivation to want to do as much as I possibly can in life. It just made me really excited, like the idea I could pass that sort of level of excitement and that, that desire to change onto other people.